One of my favorite ways, uh, I guess, to tell patients how to make their actives uh, work for them better is to actually increase the penetration. Guys, Dr. Davin Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. Today we'll be talking about skin priming and how it can super, supercharge your skincare regime. So skin priming uh, is a term which uh, dermatologists have been using for the last four decades or so. It's not new, it's not a new concept. In fact, um, when I used to do a lot of chemical peels, I used to prime the skin or prep the skin. So it's different for, in my opinion, for prepping and uh, priming, yeah? So prep is something we use prior to the peel to actually increase the efficacy of the peel and increase the safety margin. For example, if I'm doing a Jesner's TCA or a TCA medium depth, um, what's known as preparation is to use, for example, acetone. Yeah? So we use the acetone scrub to actually decrease your skin, uh, minimize the amount of oil, and hence um, enhance the penetration of the peel. So that is very different from skin priming. Skin priming is usually conducted uh, several weeks, even months prior to the event. Uh, in the context of chemical peels, this is how I used to do it. Uh, I start the patient obviously in sunscreens, if needed bleaching uh, agents or bleaching creams. But that's not priming your skin. I guess it, it is in a way where you're going to reduce the side effects. But I'm using priming to actually increase the efficacy of the primary method of which I'm treating the skin. So in the context of chemical peels, weeks or even months before, I'll start patients on, you guessed it, retinol. Yeah? So basically some uh, form of retinoic acid. It might be something as simple as tretinoin, uh, something like a 0.025 or 0.5% uh, preparation to be used three to four nights per week, increases tolerated to the face. So what does tretinoin do? What does um, uh, retinoic acid, what do retinoids do for the skin in the context of priming? It does two things. First of all, it compacts your stratum corneum. Your stratum corneum, as you know, is the outer layer of skin consisting of dead skin cells. So it compacts that from something like uh, four microns to maybe one or two microns. Yeah? So that will increase the efficacy of the peel. Most importantly, if you prime your skin with things like retinoids, uh, that can actually induce better collagen formation, but in the literature it's shown to actually improve healing times. So instead of taking, for example, seven, eight days to heal, you may heal up within five or six days. This also applies to lasers. So if I'm using uh, lasers, for example, for uh, acne scarring or rejuvenation, I may, in certain cases, uh, use some tretinoin or vitamin A prior to that. Now, how can this, I guess, concept of priming the skin uh, uh, help you in your everyday uh, skincare use, yeah? So, a simple way, and I've covered this through previous videos, is to use something like alpha hydroxy acid. So, uh, glycolic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid, uh, same with lactic acid and same with citric acid. One of my favorite ways, uh, I guess, to tell patients how to make their actives uh, work for them better is to actually increase the penetration. So a simple thing is to actually use something like an alpha hydroxy acid. Neostrella makes a good one. Uh, Elucin makes a good one. Elucin makes uh, something like 8% AHAs. Whilst Neostrella, you can go from uh, Neostrella 10, where it consists of glycolic acid, 8% in citric acid, 2%, all the way up to Neostrata 15, where it consists 13% of glycolic and 2% of citric. Now, how you actually prime your skin for this is pretty easy. What you want to do is apply your AHAs as a cream base um, to your skin, maybe a week, even up to two weeks prior to the use of, for example, a strong tretinoin uh, mixture. If you're using it on a night-to-night -night basis and you want to actually graduate to something like a, a, a retinol 1.0, but you want to incorporate other skincare actives in your regime, what you could do is to use your AHAs maybe three to four nights, and then on the fifth or sixth night, instead of uh, uh, using a whole heap of different products, use the product which, ones, which you want to make the hardest working in your skin. So in the case of retinol, you might want to use a super strength uh, concentration of retinol after priming your skin for a few days. That is how you can, I guess, make your skincare actives both last, well, I wouldn't say last longer, but actually, yeah, actually last longer because you're going to be using less of that, yeah? And secondly, it's going to actually benefit you more because there's better penetration, and with better penetration, there is better activity. So, those are simple ways to actually uh, increase your skincare actives. Another simple way is to actually use a moisturizer because, as you know, skincare actives go through the brick and mortar layer of your skin, which is basically the bricks are your keratinocytes, which are the skin cells. The mortar is your space by which there's water in your epidermis. 
And if you hydrate your epidermis more, that could even mean as simple as a moisturizer uh, 30, 40, 50 minutes prior to your application of your actives, you increase the penetration of your actives as well. The second thing you can do is actually use sheet masks. So I've been through this a couple of times to so actually use those cheap hyaluronic acid sheet masks, S A double E T, sheet, yeah, so sheet masks. Uh, and what you could do is do what's known as an occlusion. For example, you can use your skincare active, you can use your sheet mask uh, for maybe 30 minutes or 45 minutes after. That's what dermatologists call wet wrapping. And then you can take this sheet mask off, your skin is extra, extra, extra hydrated. And then what you can do is reapply the active. So in this situation, there might be a vitamin A or even the vitamin B3 niacinamide. And if you so choose, if you like vitamin C's, ascorbic acid, certainly if you don't have any contraindications or sensitive skin, you can increase the penetration of vitamin C that way. So these are just two examples of priming the skin. Guys, I hope you liked the video. It's just a very, very quick video on, um, I guess, skincare tips. More on skincare tips on my Instagram page because I try to do at least three or four tips per week. Um, but otherwise, I'll see you same place, same time next week. Bye for now.